the way I wanted to phrase this talk really was lung cancer facts, just things that you need to know. And that's going to be kind of an all comers um, in the United States. But then also I'm going to try to tailor it towards what I think is important for our, our Asian American population. And then specifically, we're going to talk about lung cancer screening. And when I, when I discuss lung cancer screening, I want you to remember lung cancer screening is a, is a covered screening test, but there is a certain um, subset of people that that's for, and that does include some type of smoking history. Okay. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And then we're going to go into some of the disparities that I see with Asians in our population and lung cancer. And then lastly, we're going to finish with what I call a hidden disparity, where we're going to talk about lung cancer in Asian American women who do not smoke. The part that you really have to remember is the number one cancer killer is lung cancer, both in men and women. It's 25% five-year survival for all stages. All race or ethnicity, male, female, are usually diagnosed late stage at stage four disease, where your, your expected survival is 7% at five years. And only a quarter of patients are diagnosed real early stage, where you can have, where there's more treatment options available, better treatment options, a better survival, right? If you catch it earlier, you're going to have a better survival. We know that. So the question that comes up, right? Well, why are we catching it so late and how do we catch it earlier? Do we have a test that can help that, that can prevent you from catching it late? And the answer to that is yes. And what is that, right? So it's lung cancer screening. What is the lung cancer screening scan? It's a low dose CT scan. It takes five to 10 minutes. They do not do any IV contrast, no oral contrast. You can see that's the machine. You just go in, it doesn't hurt. You're supposed to get it annually, right? So the idea is not just one and done, you're supposed to get follow-up. We know from multiple studies that lung cancer screening and from the Nelson and the NLSC trial that lung cancer screening follow-up is really important. 60% of the cancers were not caught on the initial CT scan. They were caught on the subsequent CT scans following. So it's like a lung, it's like a lung health check. It's like when you get your history and physical, you get your CT scan every year, right? So you have to get it every year. And that's important. A lot of people don't realize that. But this is where I want you to focus on, right? Our Asian American population, and this is in the Bay Area, this may be you on the call or in, on this talk, our Asian Americans had the worst adherence out of any race, ethnicity, white, black, Hispanic, they, we had the worst. And uh, looking into that a little further, it was a lot due to cultural and language barriers. But if we're not following up, if our Asian Americans aren't following up with lung cancer screening CT scans, we're not going to get the same benefit that they did, as you can see here in the NLST and the, and the Nelson trial. So we know that not only getting the CT scan is important, but doing the follow-up afterwards, okay? And that our Asian Americans, we have something to work on. All right, so kind of the call to action, right? I've showed you that lung cancer screening saves lives, but I've also showed you Asians have the worst lung cancer screening follow-up and initiation, which I don't have data here for that, but that's kind of what we're seeing preliminarily. Plus, they're more likely to be diagnosed with stage four, right? So how do we combat all that? Well, this is what we think is going to help. We think to combat this, so we use what's called a lay navigator system to help to help you get through the process of shared decision making, of smoking cessation, of getting the CT scan. And we do that. Um, we're trying to do that culturally sensitive, right? It, it helps when we can speak when we can speak the language. We also we have translators as well. But the idea is, is that we're trying to improve lung cancer screening uptake and adherence by employing navigators, calling you on the phone, helping you through the process. The other way we increase lung cancer screening in our Asian American community is we go to the population that we think is highest risk. Let's talk about part four. I wanna switch gears to what I call the hidden disparity. So now we're gonna switch gears to Asian American women who do not smoke. Asian women non-smokers with lung cancer are increasing 2% per year. We looked at over the last 10 years, all Kaiser Northern California patients with lung cancer. I bet you'd be surprised if I told you that the majority are women. There's more women with lung cancer, all race, ethnicity than men over the last 10 years. And what about if I told you 15 and a half percent of all the patients with lung cancer had never smoked or are non-smokers or do not smoke. And out of those non-smokers, 72% of them are women. And then if I took white versus black versus Latin versus Asian, it's not to compare, but it's to show the Asians have the, are the number two right behind non-Hispanic white in lung cancer prevalence overall, at least in, in, in our Kaiser Northern California population. So highly prevalent, right? This is something that's out there that we have to know. When we looked over the last 10 years, every group, smoking, non-smoking, every other race group, lung cancer is decreasing in incidence, right? And that's what the 
national data shows. So a lot of people misnomer think that lung cancer is decreasing. Well, it is for a lot of different populations. Well, guess what? Asian women non-smokers with lung cancer are increasing 2% per year. And this is in our population right now. And that's significant. No other group is increasing except this group. And so to answer some of your questions that you guys already asked was, well, what are the causes of that? Well, we know that biomarkers, meaning mutations in the tumor cells of Asian women who do not smoke are different. And usually that's caused by what's called EGFR, epidermal growth factor receptor. What we're going to talk about in a second is, well, what causes the EGFR to change? Um, there's a lot of different inciting factors, and that's what we're trying to figure out. But bottom line is when you look at these multiple studies, non-smokers, so patients that don't smoke, EGFR Asian, you're more than, you have a 60% chance of having an EGFR mutation, which is what caused quote unquote, the mutation in your lung, lung cells to turn into cancer. Okay. And how do we treat that? There's different medications we have for that, but even in smoking, even if you have a smoking history, Asians had a three fold higher incidence of, or prevalence of having EGFR receptor mutation. So you can't just say non-smokers, female, it's Asians in general tend to have different types of biomarkers. So the biology is different and there's different treatments for that. There's different prognosis for that, depending on what treatment you get. And so it's important to test our patients to get these. And so that brings us to the next question, which is the UCSF female Asian never smoker study that I'm lucky enough to be a part of. So is Stanford here, UC Davis. Um, and essentially these are our four groups are looking at this. We're trying to see what are the causes of you know, what's causing EGFR or whether you're EGFR or not, what are some of the factors inciting why women that don't smoke get lung cancer? So what it is, it's a 20 to 30 minute survey. We can send it any language, fill out things, cooking status. Did you have an exposure to this? Where are you from in Asia? Okay. And then you get a saliva sample, you spit into a cup and that you can mail back into it. And that's how we're going to figure out, right? We're going to figure out what are the causes is it multifactorial, which it most likely is, but what are some more significant causes than others? What affects Asian versus South Asian versus Filipino, right? So what are the take-home points that I think are relevant to this group? Remember, cancer is the number one cause of death in our population, Asian Americans. Our family members, our friends are getting affected by cancer. How are we gonna stop that? Through research, through extra funding, however you wanna look at it, through, through awareness. Lung cancer, out of all the cancers, is the number one cancer killer in our population in Asian Americans. So how can we save our Asians? How can we save our family members? Get them into lung cancer screening if they qualify. Get them in now. It's covered. What about our lung cancer in women that don't smoke? Well, we know that there's no lung cancer screening CT scan right now for you right now, correct? Right? So you have to be proactive about your health. The majority of times, we often see symptoms. And if you're having a symptom, don't wait six months. Don't wait three months. If it's not getting better in a week, come back to your primary care doctor and get an imaging study. We can catch it early enough, but you got to be proactive. You got to be aware that that's a risk if you're in that demographic.